everyone, my name is Asia, and today I'm going to be trying out, okay, so, before I, I mean, excuse my appearance and my hair, I just woke up, um, so, before I put on makeup, I like to, like, prep, like, my skin, with um not prep as in primer but prep is in like acne stuff and trying not to get any um so I usually wipe my face with a clear cell pad uh, if you have oily skin I would not recommend this it is the clear cell ultra 5 in 1 pads because um, it's supposed to fight five acne problems, and the one is excess oil. Now, it makes me even more oily. Like, look at my forehead. It's so shiny. Like, ew. That's gross. Um, and it gets even oilier than this. Like, it doesn't make me less oily. It makes me more oily. So, I wouldn't recommend that. So, I'm not going to get that again. But, this is almost out. This is my Clear Cell Daily Clear Vanishing Acne Treatment Cream. And it looks like this. Look at that. I'm, all, I'm almost out. So, I went to the store. I went just to the dollar store really quick. Um, and I got... Like, they didn't even have this. But they had all the other Clear Cell products. And I was just like, okay. So, I got the dollar general brand so we're gonna try this out see what the difference is so this is like the type of package that that comes in um yeah it comes in one of these like boxes it says actual size is this um which i kind of want to see okay it is it is pretty much the same size um so we'll see if it has this we'll, we'll just um oh okay so obviously open it up and slide it out so it looks like this it's actually kind of cute so here's the difference so this one's a little wider, or maybe that's just because I've squished, like, all of it out. Yeah, probably just because I squished it out. Yeah. Okay. So the backs look pretty much the same. This one has black. This one has blue. Little square, you know, and what writing. Um, they are pretty much the same size. We're just going to be comparing these two today, pretty much. Um... They both have one ounce of product in them, which is 28 grams. Um, so this is called the Dollar General Beauty Maximum Strength Acne Treatment Invisible Cream. So, it is an acne treatment and it is supposed to be invisible like this one. This one is, it comes out white. Um, let, let's do, let's do a little bit of a smell test, because I'm curious. Okay. This one doesn't smell good. Like, I don't want to say it kind of smells like clear so just because clear so has some different smells to it. Um, it smells medicine-y, I don't know, hold on. Oh. So, this looks a lot more gross than this does. Yeah, I mean, it's still white, but it's like, this is like a dirty white. Like, it's not white white, if you know what I mean. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. 
uh, that I can smell from in the tube. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, I usually, whenever I put this on, I put it on over, like I put it on after I wipe my face down with a clear soap pad. Like I said, I'm not getting these again, but it's a clear soap pad. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use it like I normally would use my clear soap. Cream. I like the pads because they're so like fast. You just wipe over your whole entire face and obviously you can avoid the eye area because it's sensitive there my eye area, my eye area isn't as sensitive is it not as sensitive or is it more sensitive because since I was little I've always had this I issue. It's okay because I have prescription eye drops and everything. It's fine. Um, so, I usually just let this dry. It dries really quickly, but you can just like fan your face, like your hand or whatever, to help it dry. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing this because my cheeks are the only things that are still wet. Um, I just, I put it on my T-zone where I usually break out, um, so I just take, oh, it's like, it's not as creamy, it's a little bit more foamy, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's a little bit more of like a foamy texture instead of creamy, so, I don't know, here. Nope, still nothing, which is fine. Um, so, wiping the clear cell pads over your face, um, it like tightens up your skin a little bit. And I don't know, I don't know how to explain what it does, but yeah, what I usually do is I take about this much of my clear cell um, and I just. Oh, did not want to stick to my skin then. It doesn't want to stick to my forehead. It's kind of squishy and doesn't really like. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of squishy and does not want to stick. So I'm going to have to like smear it a little bit. Oh, um, this reminds me of like a mixture of cottage cheese and like goat's cheese. I don't really, I don't like the, I don't like the tech like the consistency at all this is really creamy and just kind of glides on that not really so for my chin i use the palm of my hand because it's the quickest uh, it is really whenever you blend it out it is really like smooth okay and it really, it's really, um, easy to blend out. Now, I do want to read some stuff, um, like, about it. Like, if it has any unusual, like, warnings or directions, you know? Um, if you have very sensitive skin... Oh, do not use if you have sensitive, very sensitive skin, or if you are sensitive to benzoyl peroxide. Um, uses 
for uh, treatment of acne. Yeah, it, it said that on the box. Well, up here on my forehead, since it's a bigger area, is a little bit harder. Ooh, I had some on my finger. Okay. Um, on my forehead, it is a little bit harder to... It is a little bit harder... like blend uh, it's like more pasty I don't know if it like if that's cause it has like it has dried down immediately though it doesn't come out dry but it does dry down very quickly I'm just gonna rinse the rest off my fingers because it'll <laughs> um it's still quick it's still easy um, and it does still, like, mattify, like, your face and your appearance, um, because that's what this one does as well. Once you put it on, it kind of makes, mattifies everything, like so. Um, let's see what else it says on the back. For external use only. Stop use and ask doctor if skin irritation becomes severe. It says directions, which I probably should have read first. Um, cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying medication. Cover all entire infected area with a thin layer one to three times a day so that would be like in the morning at night with <laughs> with each meal I don't know you're supposed to eat three meals a day I don't know about the three times one well, maybe take a break um sometime during the day um and then it says because excessive drying of the skin may occur Start with one application daily, then gradually re uh, increase to two or three times daily if needed or as directed by doctor. So that's kind of the same with clear cell. If you're just starting to use clear cell, it can um, it can dry out your skin. Not like dry out, dry out, but it can like cause some dry patches um but if you are just starting to use clear cell like if you see me you, i have i have five clear cell products here so i mean i've been using clear cell for a little bit but whenever i did first start using clear cell i had like a dry patch right here um on my eye area here <laughs> um but honestly it wasn't that bad um and i had used it twice a day just starting out so um if needed or as directed by doctor if bothersome dryness or peeling occurs i've never peeled though uh, reduce application to one a day or every other day. If going outside, which I actually am going outside today, use suns use a sunscreen. Allow product to dry, then follow direct follow direction in the sunscreen labeling. If sensitive, insensitive oh, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I did just wake up. If sensitivity develops, discontinue use of both products and consult a doctor. Other information, keep tightly closed and keep away from heat. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's me trying this out. I mean, it's fine. I do like that it's a little, a little creamy putting it on the smaller places, but... Um, the creaminess <laughs> turns to pastiness using it on the larger area. It did blend out really fast and it dried immediately. 
Uh, I am actually going to vlog today, so, I mean, uh, let's see what time it is. 10.30. So I have an hour and 30 minutes until um, the eclipse is scheduled to start. Um, I have some things to do before then. And I have to brush my teeth, put on some makeup, and then do those things. So I have an hour and 30 minutes to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to vlog today since I'm going to be doing things today. Um, so, uh, yeah, this product works fine for me. But, of course, this is the first time and first day of use so you'd have to check and see how it affects you over an extended period of time um so bye guys um like subscribe and comment if you would like bye